Good afternoon, everybody. Fan Man Steve here once again. It is Tuesday, August 20, 2024. Here is a Wizard 2 speed reversible box fan. This fan is a very important part of my collection uh, because this is a childhood fan, as I have mentioned to you numerous times before. My grandparents had a fan just like this uh, many years ago when I was growing up. The one that I the one that I knew was the CNH Air Conditioning Company brand, which is the one that Technological Heritage has. Very similar to this one, however, the difference the difference with this one basically is that these were just these these were just sold through the Wizard Western Auto Company and a few other and a few other companies uh for a time. And they basically used uh all of the, the same motors and and whatnot. So there's there's uh there's differences but there's also some there's also big similarities as well. But anyway, um, this was one of the, this was actually the last uh, fan that I ever bought in my old location uh, before we moved out uh, back in 2022. This fan's been in use uh, regularly. I like to use it uh I like to use this fan in particular times of the year, such as the spring and the fall, um, because uh, this has the reverse and the outtake to it. And I'm sure that some of you are probably like, you know, uh, why would you want to use a box fan and all you have to do is turn it around and so on and so forth. Well, uh, I guess we all have different opinions on these fans but I happen to like them because uh these reversible these reversible fans were actually uh designed differently than some others for for the purpose of for the purpose of these uh of being reversible box fans in general uh if you know what I mean um Fan had a few small issues, uh, and I did some work with it. Other than the uh, other than the electrical issues, everything is is all right now. There is the there is the batch right there, and it's still in pretty decent shape. And this also has the the wizard that's in cursive and it has the the crown on it and there's the snowflake and I always wanted to get I always wanted to get one of the wizard fans that had uh that had that same style uh emblem right there. This is not the original color. I painted this one time before and uh it's pretty much the same thing as what it was before, but maybe like a maybe like a lighter color. And I just love these. I kind of love the uh, the color paint that I that I got for this. Pretty much everything else is the same. There's the the carrying handle, still in good shape. It's not cracked or anything, it's not damaged, so that's good. It's amazing how well how well these things kept up kept up after so many years. And there is the switches right there. One for the in and out position and this one for the speed uh, positions, both of which are 
are still well functional. However, uh, I did have to, I did have to do some, uh, more work with this. I'll show you what I did. Basically all I did was that I just replaced the connectors right there. People that, that had this fan before did a really decent job of, of how they rewired this thing. And somebody asked me if, if the switches on this were original. Actually, I think this just had like a standard rotary switch to it at one time. And they just replaced it with these. Uh, and this also would have had the, uh, the, uh, the little switch plate to it as well. These had the, the these had these stamped, these little stamps on them, uh, that were, that were indicating the, the speeds and everything, and I removed those. I probably should have kept them, but I do intend on making like a, uh, making something like a stencil or something for this. Turn it around and have a look at the back. There is the General Electric export motor that everybody seems to hate because uh, they're they're hazardous or they're phone, prone to failure or whatever. Since I do tend to see and believe things of my own experience, uh, every fan that I have I have owned at least about two or three of these fans with this same motor, non-reversible uh, and uh, the reversible ones, and I never had uh, never had any problems with them. So, uh, to each his own, I guess. There is the, there's the information right there. This is a 2.6 amp rated motor. Very powerful. And you can see the original paint of what the fan was before. Really didn't see, really didn't see the need to repaint it. Another really cool thing about this that I liked is that it has, it has the, the tubes on it for oiling. Has the original hardware on it and everything. So, goes to show you of how well built these fans were and how uh, much effort they put into building these with the uh, the weights that they that they put on the on the blades uh, to keep them well balanced, as well as the uh, the spider hub. Well, some others may call it a spider hub or whatever, but that's that's what I call them. So, the fan is very well balanced. It did have a balance issue before, but I but I fixed it. Here's the inside of the fan. There, it is a little dirty from where it's been in use. You look there on the bottom. I did put feet on them. Fan did have fan did have some electrical issues before. Um, if you look inside the motor there, uh, the windings are actually still pretty good. I mean, they're not particularly perfect, but they're not discolored or anything like that. Uh, everything is still well held together and everything. However, I did have to do a repair with uh, with the leads going into the motor. The insulation was was uh, was cracked and de de deteriorating, so I did have to repair that. And if any of you, in case of any of you are wondering, there's a video of how I did that, before, showing how I did this. 
there's the wiring and everything up in there and as I as I just uh, pointed out I did replace the connectors on this the terminals and everything else are fine and until I start experience having any more issues if, ne if necessary I'll re replace the switches I found out what was causing the uh, the noise, the loud humming noise on this before, and I never started having never started having this problem until I took the motor the first took the motor apart the first time around. And some others are probably wondering, well, why would you need to take the motor apart? when there's already easy access to oil, to lubrication. And, uh, well, when you get these older fan li fans like this, no matter what good shape they may be in, they're always going to have uh, one small issue to another. And chances are, if, if, I, if I did not see and correct that problem when I, when, when I did, that uh that was gonna that was gonna cause a a motor failure as well as some other problems so and also not to mention that these motors are just held together they just have these two caps and they're basically just all held into place lock lock nuts are basically the simple solution to the problem and the vibration will just kind of will will just kind of jar everything loose, particularly the bolts, and that will just kind of cause the motor to to come out of alignment. And I think that is what was causing uh, all of those problems before. So um, I still need to. To go back and and find some lock washers for this. Actually, I'll just probably uh, get some off of another fan that I have that's not working, and uh, and I'll and I'll fix that, and that should uh, solve that little problem. Little story that I would like to share about this fan, um, since I do a lot of other collectors like to to share their stories behind uh the fans and their collections like i do uh my i remember my grandparents having this fan many many years back i have i have no information on to how the fan until how, until how the fan came into my family's position i don't know when or where the fan was bought uh Actually, when I bought the first one back in 2019, that one right there, uh, very few of my family members had any recollection of it. So, I just have no information to any history at all of the fan. But, uh, I just remembered, remembered seeing it probably from the time that I was being born into the time that I was maybe in elementary school. So that's that's how that's pretty much how I remembered it. And this was probably uh the very first uh one of the very first uh older box fans that I remember seeing growing up. And I remember my grandmother using it a lot. My uncle had used it, you know, a lot. My grandfather used it from time to time. Uh, I think this may have belonged to... Uh, I know that this belonged to my grandparents. But uh, it was used... It was just kind of, you know, switched around. Uh, you know, being used between uh, pretty much everybody else in the household. And I just have so many good memories of it. You know, my grandmother used it in the kitchen, you know, for 
whenever she was she would be cooking meals and she used it in the bedroom. We never had air conditioning until I was probably like six or seven years old. And it was right around that point, actually the last time that I saw that fan when we started when we first bought our air conditioner and these fans were were being used a lot less and they were just being thrown in the trash or 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 whatever. Uh but anyway, um had a lot of really good memories with this fan. Something else that I found so interesting about them was the was basically how these things were built. Like you see how this thing is just put together. Like it's just everything is just put together. Like there's a three piece down here and there and then there's the body and it's just it's just connected to the top there. And you see the you see the motor brace there. I mean it's just it's practically riveted to the case. And it has the spiral card there. And I remember seeing the back of it for the first time and and it was just different. And I just thought it was just so odd looking to me as a kid. But just really cool looking. Another uh, really cool thing about this too. Is that you see there the tip on the blade. How it just has that little. How it's just kind of. It's kind of tweaked in. That. Um, that really put. That really gave it. Better, uh, better performance with this fan because not only it blows out, but it also puts air. It circulates air and like in all different all different directions. So the performance to this fan, as well as the quality, was just so great. And um, this fan is going on about. 60 or 70 years old. I think these were being made. Uh, these were a thing of the 50s and the 60s. And. They're they're still. They're just. They're still working. These, old, these older fans like this. They just. They work. And. They work so well. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this from the window. It has been a really, really cool day today. A good, cool temperature, fall-like temperature of 74 or 75. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this up. I've got this on the, on the intake. Fan has a really cool startup sound to it, too, on, uh, on both positions. So we'll go ahead and we'll start it up on the high speed. Puts out a good blast, blast of air there. And it's very quiet. And as I mentioned a while ago, with the uh, with the interior design of these blades, it just like it puts out a a velocity of air like just like a big blast of air. It doesn't blow straight forward; it just cut, blows directly out. Very quiet. Not a lot of vibration at all. Okay, let's drop it down to the low speed. Okay. 
One thing I don't like about this one is that the only complaint that I have about this is is that uh it's the low speed on this thing. I mean low is low. And that's uh that's not usual even for for a motor as powerful as this one, but it is what it is. But it's uh, it's something you you definitely could use uh, on a cooler night, you know, even when it's much colder outside. It definitely gets the job done. Not much of any good if it's like if it's a lot warmer outside. If it's maybe like uh maybe like eighty six or going into maybe like the mid eighties to the to the uh, upper nineties. But with it just like this, it's perfect. Fire it back up to the high. Okay, now we will start this up on the on the intake. This has an excellent performance if you're in a room with uh, with more than one window of how I can just, I literally can feel that cool air just pulling in through the window there. It's pulling in a nice gentle breeze. That works really well if you don't want the uh, that cool air blowing directly on you. I'd rather have it blowing directly on me, but I guess it works uh, it works well either way. Okay, let's go ahead and fire it down to below. <clears throat> something, something else that's <clears throat> rather strange about this the low speed on this, <clears throat> on the on the other position, is a little bit faster than the the low on the uh, on the opposite for some reason. Not exactly sure why that is. I just think that's really it's just really strange. Then again, I am not a hundred percent. Knowledgeable on how these motors work. Okay. 
has a good wine has a good wine to it too as it's running on the low speed. Just love that love that that whining sound. Okay, let's drop it back up to the high. Okay, now we will capture a spin down. Spin down time to these things are really, really good. With both the Weston Cows motor and the the General Electric motors, see if we can capture a startup sound on this. Give you a shot at the back here. Okay, so I think that'll pretty much do it for this video. I hope that you all have enjoyed the uh, demonstration of this fan. This is like a early fall startup, even though that's still a good ways off because I love to use these in the fall. Hope that you all have enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.